Bible verses coming out of my mouth. You hear the words of the Bible. And most of you won't even read the Bible because your Pope has taught you, your Catholic priest has taught you not to read the Bible. A woe to you because you have chosen to believe a lie rather than to, than to believe the truth. You see it, Bill? starting. You see, you need to be like Paul. Paul commended the Brian church in the book of Acts. He commended the Brian church because they went home and searched the scriptures. They searched the scriptures to see if what Paul was saying was true. You won't even search the scriptures to see if what the Pope says is true. You won't even search the scriptures to see if what your, what your priest tells you is true. Your Bible probably has enough dust on it that you could write hell and damnation on it. What you are looking at is a man-centered religion. Now I want you to listen to him and then I will give you the discernment, the commentary, that you might understand what is going on. This is pure religion, man's religion to reach God with all of its decoration, its clothing, its religious form, him holding his hand there, bowing down, and kissing the Bible. I greet all of you with the joy of this Easter season. Before all else, I thank God for the blessing of being in your midst. I'm particularly grateful to Archbishop Wolf for his kind words of welcome. Our Mass today brings the Church of the United States back to its roots in nearby Maryland and commemorates by centennial of the first chapter of this the division by my predecessor, no the on decision of my predecessor of the original and the establishment of the diocese of the in bringing together widely different immigrant groups within the unity of the Catholic faith. How long, O oh man, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord. The Catholic community's county has come to appreciate even more fully the importance of each individual group offering its own particular gifts to the whole. The Church in the United States is now called to look to the future, firmly grounded in the faith passed on by previous generations and ready to meet new challenges. Challenges no less, no less demanding than in the exercise of my ministry of successor of Peter, I have come to America to confirm. And he's going to take you straight to hell, folks. You need to wake up. 
Wake up, because the repentance unto men will not stand in the judgment of God. Repentance unto a pope will not stand in the judgment of God. Yes, you are going to die in your sin and go to hell. You're going to be deceived. And Matthew, Jesus said, many shall come unto me. Iniquity! You're a worker of iniquity! You're a blasphemer of the Holy Ghost! The work of the Holy Ghost! You people, you are on the slab! The devil is about to slay you! That old serpent will turn on you! You are wicked to follow after the beast! Look at his priesthood! Pedophile! Drunker! Whoremongers! They hate God! They defy the word! seat of the Most High God. That's what the devil wanted to do. The devil wanted to sit in the seat of the Most High God, and he was cast into hell. He was cast into hell. And now he's on this earth. He was cast from heaven, now he's on the earth. And the devil has set up his throne. He set up a throne of worship. And that throne of worship is in the Vatican. The Vatican. And you are on your way to hell, folks, because you you lift up worship unto the Vatican. You lift up, lift up worship unto the little horn in Daniel. You're of the beast. You're of the beast. You're of those that are standing that's going to come up to the bridle of the horse. You're going to fill the valley with your blood because you stand against Jesus Christ. You stand against the Holy One of Israel. You stand against the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You have lifted up a dead woman. And you can murder Jesus Christ anytime at your own convenience to cover your sin. Hey, God said that He died once for you and once for all. You cannot be a mass murderer. You are a mass murder, cannibal, blood drinking sucker that's going to go to hell. That's why you stand here looking for something greater than the doctrines of your religion. You're looking for a man to lead you. And he'll lead you. He'll lead you right into the pit. Because he's blinded. He doesn't see the light of God. He doesn't know Jesus Christ. And he's going to lead you into the pit of hell. Because the blind leadeth the blind, and they both shall fall into the ditch. You're on your way to hell, folks. Wake up. Jesus said, I am the way. He didn't say Mary was the way. He didn't say saints were the way. He didn't say the Pope was the way. He didn't say religion was the way. He didn't say baptism was the way. He didn't say good works were the way. Jesus said, I am the way. He said, I'm the truth. He didn't say the Pope was the truth. He didn't say your religion was the truth. He said that he is the way. He is the truth. He is life. Your Pope's about dead. He's about physically dead, and he's spiritually dead. Follow after a beast that has only a life for a short time, and now he's raising up his head because he knows that he's going to be cast into the 